And that shit was never a problem for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Because, up, because you, know, you know why I do that for other people? Because I feel like people did that to me. And in a lot of situations, I felt like I was a lot better um, than I really was until I was tested. Right. And then when I was tested, uh, you know, I was put to the test. I wasn't as good as I thought I was. You know, and then I'm like, damn, all these people been lying to me. Like I thought I was I thought it was dope. And then, you know, you get put to the test and you're not ready. And you yeah. thought you was ready. And you know, there's that's worse than your man hurting your feelings. Like yeah. that feeling is is awful when that money leaves the table because you weren't ready, it is an awful feeling. So, you know, I'd rather have people out here, you know, getting solid, getting ready. And, you know, because you know, I always tell my friends, like, we, we'll see each other at the top. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we'll all see each other at the top. And, you know, but we all have to work to get to the top. You know? Yo, man. And what I know, I'm going to share with you. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Quash. What, what up, Quash? Um, let's get into, you want to get to another picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's, 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 get to, right. let's get to the next photo. Uh, which one you want me to go to? The black and white. All right. Yeah. I should have took these out the frame, but doing the best I could do. All right. So the reason I picked this picture, because this is probably one of the first times I um I saw an image in a magazine and said, Hey, I want to do that, and then actually put it together. You know, got the makeup artist, got the model. The ill thing about this picture is that the model did not want to do this picture. She was totally against it uh, because you can't really see in the picture, but the the black makeup kind of goes up into her hair. So she was like, "Eh, I don't want to get makeup in my hair. I don't want to, you know. There got to be a black model because there ain't no black oh, yeah. woman here. Nothing going on with that. <laughs> exactly. And, and I get it, right? Because you spend a lot, I mean, it's a lot of years invested in hair. You know, the hair game is serious. And, you know, but it was what, it, this was the first time that I was able to um, put the team together and have it come out exactly like I envisioned it. You know, um, not the same photo that I saw, but the same concept. And, um, you know, kind of found somebody that could do it, put it together. And, you know, I, it came out, like, just, like, the the detail. Everything is, like, the same. Like, the small details and eyelashes and everything else. It just came out, though. But, you know, this also um, showed me that, you know, you, you have to convince people to trust your vision. Right, because she was totally against it, but I was like, "Yo, you gotta trust my vision." Like, you know, you have to be. Uh, before I would just be like, "Somebody want to do that?" Like, eh, you know, don't do it if you don't want to do it. Like, you know, it's cool, but when you know something's going to be dope and it's going to be for the benefit of everybody involved, you gotta you gotta push for it. You know, you gotta speak up about it, and because sometimes we um, we operate out of fear. And we don't even know where that fear is coming from. You know, it could have just been like, you know, I don't want to wash my hair. (laughs) You know what I mean? So this picture might not have happened just because somebody didn't want to wash their hair. You know, something simple like that. So, um, you know, once it was like, hey, this will wash out. It's going to, the whole time, man, like it was just like this, you know, kind of pulling teeth kind of attitude. And then you got to calm everybody down and get the picture and get the emotion right for the picture. So (laughs) it's, um, you know, but that's, that's, you know, that this showed me like the psychological part of um, photography as well. Right. Because it's, it's very much about, if you see my images, it's very much about people feeling comfortable around you, you know, and, you can see, like, I look at photographs and people think they're great, but I could totally see that that person's uncomfortable, you know? If you look at people, like, the thing is, you have to look at people's eyes in a picture, and people's eyes will never lie to you. Like, when you're scared, there's no way to change your eyes from being scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and, you know, when you're happy, when that, you know, those emotions, when you're relaxed, you know, it usually always comes out in your eyes, you know? So... 
Well, you, you must be the model whisperer because I'm not convinced that there are too many, especially any man, period, man or woman, that can convince a black woman to take a risk like that <laughs> and jeopardize the hair that she probably spent an hour and a half to get done to come and see you for you to only mess it up. Well, and, and, and here's the flip thing, right? It's like, you know, and I said this, uh, I, was, I went live the other day and it's like, know the industry that you're in, right? Mm. So if you want to be in this industry, you want to be a model, this is what models do, right? Like you can't, you can't, you know, you can't say you're going to be a bodybuilder and then they, you know, but that's too many weights. Like that just, don't, <laughs> that doesn't, you know, it doesn't work out. Like you have to be in the industry that you're in. And this is part of modeling. Like it's like wearing makeup. You know, you can't say I want to do runway models, but I don't want to wear heels. Like you got to be part of the industry that you're in, you know. So if you're in the food industry, you got to learn how the chefs get down. Like, you know, fashion industry, what a designer is doing. Music industry, what an artist doing. Like any industry you enter, I don't care if you want to be a mechanic. Like they got it. It's a game to it. And you got to learn it and you got to be part of it and figure out how you're going to navigate within it. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's you know, I think this is also a growing point for her, you know, because then after this, I did see her do more, um, you know, more extreme makeup, those sort of things. And I think the other thing is that I think other people will trust you if one person trusts you, mm. right? It's kind of like going back to what I said about, you know, people watching. It's just like, you know, well, she trusted him and it came out dope. So, you know. I could trust him too. You know, you become trustworthy just from, you know, your cosign. Well, I'm going to say that. I first want to shout out my niece, who's also my goddaughter, Gabby. A happy birthday. It's her 18th birthday. Oh, Graduated happy birthday, school. Gabby. And Deb, you owe me like $70 because she got skates. I don't know where she got the idea from that. I was supposed to get her the skates. She said it was... Yo, that's the love of her uncle. Godfather. That's Godfather duty, <laughs> brother. So, SJ... You know, shout out to you, because he checked in. Um, love you. But um, something about a risk, you said, right? So there's a quote that, that I have in my office. It says, if you are not willing to risk, you cannot grow. If you cannot grow, you cannot be your best. If you cannot be your best, you cannot be happy. And if you cannot be happy, then what else is there? So apparently she's taking your 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 lead on that and you said she's going on to do some some other amazing photo shoots as well that model yeah so it's it's all about risking right it's all about you know i don't know if you ever heard that steve harvey speech where he talks about jumping like you gotta jump like it's like there's no kind of um so when we used to ride bikes right and you used to attempt something a new trick or whatever bike skateboards if you hesitate, you're going to fall and you're going to fall bad. That's the worst thing you can do with most sports. It's like if you hesitate, like you used to coach wrestling. If you hesitate when you're wrestling, could you imagine what could happen to you? Like you got to you gotta go in. Right. You got to yeah. go all in, right? You can't go halfway in the move. No. Like, and no. that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what you got to do with your creative stuff, too. Like, you got to go all in. Like, embrace it. Don't be afraid. You know, take some risks. You know, you know, so JB, what up, man? Uh, you know, this, I, I think you can't be afraid to, um, you know, you can't be afraid to mess up either, right? Like, that's how we learn. Like, you got to be, like, I always tell people, we, <laughs> we watch babies learn how to walk and they bust their butt for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and nobody discourages them. Nobody tells them, hey, cut that out. You're going to hurt yourself. You're never going to walk. <laughs> like, nobody stops them, right? We, we, yeah. we let babies fall, and they fall hard, and they fall over things, and they do all these things trying to learn how to walk. And we only let them do that because we have faith that they're going to get it, right? So that same faith that you put in a baby, like, put in your man, put in your homegirl. Like, encourage them. The same way you encourage kids to walk, we hold their hands and tightly. Like, oh, we got all these techniques to teach them how to walk. You buy them things to help them learn how to walk. Like, do the same thing for your man. If you could do that for a baby, 
you yeah. know, encourage your encourage your friend, encourage your family member. Like, get, and, and sometimes it's just, you know, a pat on the back, you know, an encouraging word, you know, it's a a reference, you know. Like, oh, you need so and such, you know, you know, you need this and that. I know somebody that does that. Let me let me give you that number. Yeah. And that's it. Like, you know, we're 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 competing with people that do that. You know what I mean? Not only are we competing against, you know, the system, you know, a racist system, we're competing against other cultures that do that on a regular. Right? Like they, they refer each other. Yo, they don't go outside of their neighborhood, you know. Yo, what up, John? Like, they don't go out in their neighborhoods. They refer each other. And that's how you, it's just like encouraging the baby to walk. Like, you know, we all got to start somewhere. Like, we all can't assume that, you know, everybody's all right and everybody got it. You know, everybody need, can use a little bit of help. So, you know, encourage them like you would encourage a little baby. Like, encourage them to walk, encourage them to do their thing. You know, but at the same time, you know, if you see a baby doing something <laughs> like they're going to fall down the stairs or something, you stop them, right? And you sit there and I'm like, no, that's dangerous. You don't go over there, right? And you see your friend going off the deep end, like, yo, don't, you know, that's not the way to go. So I think we just have to be um, encouraging and responsible for each other, you know, because all we got is us. 